is a video I want to watch. The many degenerates of Twitch! As we are on Twitch, and I am a Twitch streamer, and you guys are Twitch chat. I thought it's swimming. <laughs> Thanks for the recommendation. Twitch is the pioneer of online live streaming, but in recent years, it's tanked its own reputation by seemingly making the wrong decision at every turn. It seems that every aspect of Twitch, whether it's the user base, streamers, mod team, or admins, has some oh sort God, of degeneracy. Oh my God, not the deer person. Not the deer person. The user base, streamers, mod team. Not the deer person. This was a dog age. This was such a dog age team or admins has some sort of degeneracy seeped into it at this point. Whether the downfall of Twitch is the result of any of these parties can be debated. Oh my god, oh my god, right, this happened too, where she jumped into the pit and uh, it wasn't like safe enough and she like broke a fucking back or something? At this point. Whether the downfall oh. of Twitch is the result of any of these parties can be debated. Such I as Twitch mods banning people seemingly based on personal opinion, streamers getting drunk and yeah, making out with this. fans' wives, and Twitch what? viewers like someone who sued Twitch for $25 million Holy because he shit. played with his joystick hey, yo. <laughs> too much, which caused him to chafe his chicken and sustain injuries. What? Some parts of this equation is funny, some parts are depressing, and some are just a bit is that when the person jumped into the pit at TwitchCon and injured themselves? Yeah, that was that video. So today we're looking at all of this and much more on Twitch Degenerates. God help us all. Twitch <laughs> is the most parasocial platform on the internet and it's not yeah. even really- Would you say OF is more parasocial? Would you guys say OF is more parasocial? This was a year ago. No, no, yes. OF is full of causes, yeah. Fortune would like to argue. <laughs> Was it successful lawsuit? I don't know. I I don't know if it went out to be successful in the end. Not really. Probably not, to be honest. Okay. Close. On okay. YouTube, you can almost never directly communicate with your favorite content creators. Whereas on Twitch, this communication fuck? is one of the main functions. And Bro, it's as simple fuck? as opening your wallet. Now, obviously, there's nothing inherently wrong with this system, but some people don't understand that just because you donate to somebody doesn't mean you know them, even if you think you do. Yeah, and like to even like take the money out of the equation. Just because you spend a lot of time in chat with someone doesn't mean you know the streamer on a personal level. Sorry to tell you, chat. Sorry. While most Twitch users don't develop parasocial relationships, you could see how somebody who is a bit know unhinged could do so. This can lead to audiences prying into streamers' lives maybe a bit more than they should. And it's as simple as giving the audience what they want to start this relationship. But some people don't understand that a Twitch streamer is not their toy most of the time. But maybe they could be their Holy eye candy, which is where simp culture comes from. And the only way to counter simp culture- Wow. Chat, chat. I, I have the f perfect sentence for this. Be their eye candy, which is where Wait. simp culture comes from. It's and the only me! way to counter simp culture <laughs> is with anti-simp culture. Meet Eric Estavio. While you might not know his name, you definitely know him. An avid Twitch yeah. watcher, UCLA alumni, gamer. Consider standing out in front of the shuttle that's running in front of the hotel. And where your tax dollars go. Eric is exactly oh. what I'm talking about. After living off disability for years, Eric decided he was going to stand up for the little guy and take on okay. the Amazon backed Twitch. He had okay. enough of Twitch's antics and unfairness to him. Wait, 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 wait. Is that the guy? Is that the guy that sued Twitch because he jerked off too much? Wait, is that the guy? <laughs> so we decided to take them to court and sue them for 25 million US dollars. For what reason, you might ask? Well, he claimed that Twitch plastered too many women on his front page, which caused him to beat off with a flashlight, which caused him injuries on his Johnson, which led to... Oh, that's, that's gross. Has 
has to use this med medication on his tip to prevent necrosis? He has to take some medication to prevent necrosis. That's how often he did it. Plaintiff often stays up for hours staring at the breasts of girl streamers, which ends up damaging his retina, retina, retina and making his eyes bloodshot for days. Eye drops do nothing to hide his shame from his parents and he is often questioned by people he comes into contact with as to why his eyes are so bloodshot and red, which leads to further embarrassment and isolation. <laughs> oh, I love lawyer talk. The plaintiff once ejaculated on his PC monitor causing a short circuit. There it is, I remembered this. And a small fire within the electrical system of his gaming rig and causing his apartment to black out temporarily. Bro. Also, he claimed that because of Twitch showing him these women, he physically could not look away, causing his eyes to be bloodshot <laughs> red and strained. And of course, as you would expect, he uh, did his business on his computer and caused a short circuit, causing a temporary blackout. He demanded $25 million from Twitch, Money. as well as every streamer listed in the complaint to be banned. Notably <laughs> names such as Pokimane, Illumity, and... Nintari just cheered 100 bits. Thank Imagine you. this dude's room looking like a dripstone cave. Oh, See? nasty. Nasty! Amaranth. Also, I should mention he was following 786 female streamers and zero male streamers. Of now, unfortunately not. for the Gamers Union, this case was thrown out in California, but Eric <laughs> still has plans to follow through with this suit. Taking inspiration from the Joker, he states how really? it's not about the money. It's about oh my God. It's about I'm not joking. Eric has also sued many other companies such as Sony, Apple, what? Insomniac Games, GameSpot, Microsoft for giving him the red ring of death, and Sony again, who he claimed ruined his social life when he got banned from PlayStation as he was not able to receive social interaction outside. Bro, professional victim. He actually is a professional victim. Bro, he actually is a professional victim. He blames everyone but himself. Bro. PlayStation was the only place he could get some sort of human communication, and more importantly, meet girls. Now, Twitch and Sanos are pretty common, and unfortunately, not all of them are as ridiculously funny as Eric here. Some are quite intense and, quite frankly, disturbing. How about Ginny TTY, who had a mm -hmm. fan scour through Discord messages, Steam achievements, created fucking graphs of a what chatter on her stream and coordinated all of that with her Steam account as well as her menstrual cycle to find out if she had slept with a certain person or Or not. Now, believe it or not, Speak this story is pretty tame compared to the other stalker stories that seem to be dime a dozen Speak on about Twitch, being fucking some parasocial. of which are quite terrifying. Weirdly enough, a lot of people will start Twitch channels with the intention of stream sniping or somehow getting attention by essentially stalking them. So I'm not going to pretend streaming is an easy job because it's not when you have to deal with bullshit like this, as well as sitting at a desk or walking around every day for hours can be difficult when you're constantly trying to entertain people. You thought coal mining was hard? What are you doing? Try ending up on the front page of live stream fails. Being a streamer is going to attract a certain type of person who is capable of quite literally being terminally. Oh. <laughs> Good old Tyler one. Good old Tyler one. A certain type of person who is capable of Look at this. quite literally what? being terminally online. Now there's a lot of degenerate streamers this is so out there. Ugh. The most iconic one we're not going to talk about today being only use me blade, whose story you I probably know. But I actually don't, who said? But if you don't, his Twitch was basically watch a man spiral into the depths of depravity, somehow getting worse and worse every stream through his what own actions. While he is most certainly a degenerate and maybe a criminal, he's not the funniest degenerate on Twitch. That crown goes to the infamous Burger
Thanks to the follow of all and night. He's maybe not Burger as despicable Andy. as Blade, but he's certainly just as pathetic. You see, around the year 2016, IRL streaming was a huge phenomenon. Instead of watching yeah, sure. people play video games, you could watch them just go about their normal lives yeah. outside. The most iconic of this <laughs> Yeah, and then a sudden period, uh, uh, a sudden time period happened that forced us all to stay inside. I can't really point my finger on, on it what it was, though. So now just chatting is in demand. Rumors being Ice Poseidon, who had people follow him around and basically groupie him to be a part of his crew. Many of these people who just showed up on his stream would be nicknamed Andy. There was Asian Andy, Mexican Andy. Oh, Asian Andy! Yo! <laughs> we know Asian Andy! <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Arab Andy, who is now in prison, but by far my favorite is Burger Andy, who is the pinnacle of a degenerate streamer. Well, besides the aforementioned Blade. Burger Planet, or Burger Andy, is a streamer who is in his mm -hmm. 30s and is basically everything wrong with online personalities who try to get famous. It looks like a goddamn pineapple. I look like Morrissey. I look like Bert Nerdy. Oh, 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 oh. I every time I look in the mirror, I'm just like, oh God. I I think streaming while driving should not be allowed. I don't think that should be allowed. Like I know um the entire fucking hands free and shit as long as it's hands free blah blah blah. No, I don't I don't I don't think that's enough. I I don't like calling while I'm driving. I do not like calling while I'm driving. I I don't even I don't even want to call when I'm driving, man. I don't even want to fucking call. It it just no. It's to me it's too fucking dangerous. Didn't that one girl drive over a dog cause she was streaming? I don't know if it was a dog. I know that she drove onto someone. I think she drove over onto a person. I thought it was bannable, but now I hope it is. I'm not sure. So no Kitsu stream with 250 kilometers on the German autobahn? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Drive onto a person, yes. She didn't drive fast. I think the person was okay. I think the person was okay. <laughs> From like what I remember. <laughs> God damn it. He has a footprint that goes back to 2008 on YouTube where he would go harass people at conventions. And I must say you are very- So that's like constantly reading text while driving? Yeah, like even if you don't look at chat, right? Like even if you don't look at chat and just talk about you yourself, like talk about your own business, it's still... It's still a distraction. Marvelous. Definitely one of the sexiest nerds we've seen all day, by far. But he saw very little success doing this, deciding to get a normal job and presumably live a normal life. However, his real dream remained to be internet famous. So in his mid-30s, he decided to leave his wife and kids what? to become an IRL Twitch streamer. Please tell me that wasn't the only reason. <laughs> Please tell me that wasn't the only reason. By leeching off the most famous IRL streamer at the time, Ice Poseidon. How would you uh. like to be an IRL streamer and have zero privacy? Well, I have something that can help with that, and it's today's sponsor, Private Internet Access. Oh Private God. Internet Access is the world's most transparent oh VPN provider. God. They never record oh or store any God. user data, and they'll be able to hide your IP address as well as encrypt your internet. While this is great to safeguard your online privacy, it also comes with benefits such as working with all major streaming services. Did you know Breaking Bad is not on Australian Netflix? So now I can rewatch it on Japanese Netflix. Oh my god. No way. No way. Now I can rewatch it on Japanese Netflix. So you kotoda. Furthermore, I Oh my god! Breaking Bad anime! Hell yeah! Works on any operating system, such as Linux, Mac, PC, iOS, etc. Also, the World Cup is coming up, so you can watch all of the games on your VPN. So if you go to piavpn.com forward slash ghost gum, you'll get an 83% discount on private internet access. That's $2.11 a month and get an extra three months for free if you sign up using the code. Signing up is also risk-free as there's a 30-day money back guarantee as well as 24-7 customer service. Watching some of Andy's interactions with people is the most cringe and pathetic shit I've ever seen. 
What do you think? I drank really? what might have been piss out of the garbage right, to be in this. What? He became iconic for uh. kissing ass to people in a very insincere and awkward way in some attempt to further his internet fame. Really Good luck with that. your not wanting to have sex with me thing. And his leeching wasn't exclusive Yikes. to Ice Poseidon either, as there were multiple occasions Yikes. of him not under. I love when Kitsu sees some shit, her face just goes like... <laughs> ...understanding boundaries and filming people while they didn't want to be filmed. Well, they were the only person that talked to me in like 30 or 40 minutes. Where are you staying at, Dutch? I live in my minivan. Good luck. I could have like fucked her, yeah, of course. It was sure. very clear by watching. I could have like fucked her. Ugh, get him out of here, man. Get him out of here. Kids when she sees nudes. Watching him that one, Andy would do anything for a whiff of fame, and two, he had no understanding of personal boundaries. How about Jesus his interaction Christ. with Dr. Disrespect, where Doc tells him what? to never film him ever again? Dog? And after Andy harasses him. We're not gonna collab. Don't ever film me again. Why? Just do me a favor, okay? Don't ever film me again. Don't ever do me again. Okay. Do you hear me? What? Don't ever. Hey. What? All right, well, get away from me, man. Don't be on my thing. Which, if you had any questions about if Andy was playing a character, check him out crying after this interaction. All right. Cool. I wasn't even doing anything weird. I don't fucking know. Bro, he looks like a broken man. He looks like a broken man. <laughs> Maybe in this moment he just realized what he's doing. Maybe he just like realized in this moment, like, what am I doing with my life? Andy is the perfect example of somebody who will do literally anything for a shred of fame. Some of his attempts at going viral include stealing pizza from a homeless man, punching his why? friend in the nuts, Bro, why? an exhibition boxing match, and him trying to bring a mentally handicapped woman back to his van. Wait! I, 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 I think I remember this. I only live in, I live in my minivan though. Hunter. You want to go party in the minivan? Yeah, this guy's a bad guy. Frank this is? Well. I'm the mouth? No. I believe if you took every quality of an awful internet personality slash Twitch streamer and combined them into... You may not like this, but this is what peak male performance looks like. This is the peak male physique chat. Peak male physique. You may not like it, but this, this is it. One thing, this is what you get. One thing to note is that if you go to any compilation of him on YouTube, all of the comments are saying he deserves every bad thing that happens to him. Do I really need 10 boobs to, though? Yes, you do. The more the better, am I right? <laughs> but if you were going to watch one video of Burger Andy, this is the one you have to. It is by far the best video of Burger Andy and one of the best videos online, in my opinion, where he's trying to get on Ice Poseidon's party bus. You said I, and I just ate a worm and shit. Dude, it's sketchy out here. I don't have to walk back through there. I mean, why'd you come here? I came here to see you guys. You said I could come with you. Look at this face. But for those of you who enjoy this kind of content. <laughs> he's just there like, oh my God, check him in moment. He's just there like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna post it, I'm gonna post it in the chat. He's just there like this. He's just there like this. <laughs> Dude, it's sketchy out here. I don't have to walk back through there. Why'd you come here? I came here to see you guys. You said I could come with you. Look at this face. But for those of you who enjoy this kind of content for You're some reason, or even cat? enjoy stuff Pet with a cat. slight bit of edge to it, Twitch isn't the platform for you. Because over the past little while- it Honestly, you gotta have a little bit of, um, 
Thick skin. You do need the thick skin to be on Twitch. It seems Twitch has done everything in its power to make every wrong decision possible, such as creating categories to filter streamers by race, gender, and sexual orientation. In case you really didn't want to watch someone of a specific one of those things, I guess. No, I think tags are a good thing. Tags are a good thing. Um, It actually helps with discoverability, by the way, chat. Like, you can... Like, tag your stream as VTuber, you can put reaction in it, you can put the game title in it, and it does help with uh, discoverability. And autism and ADHD are tags? Yeah, they are tags. No woman tag? Don't I have the woman tag? <laughs> Do I not have the female tag? VTuber, anime, and VTuber, English, reacts, chaotic, Elden Ring? We're not playing Elden Ring right now. Let me add in woman. I am woman. <laughs> Depends on how the texts are used. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, definitely. Woman. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Do I add female too? Female. A girl. Is vagina a tag? Vagina. It's not. <laughs> Anime. Anime? I, don't I have anime as a tag? I do have anime as a tag. Girl failure? Feet! Girl failure actually is a good tag. I think girl failure I'm actually keeping. Girl failure. Girl failure I'm actually adding in and I'm removing girl. Woman. Or female. I don't care about any of this. Girl failure I'm keeping. Massive badonkish! She's a woman, I can't stay here anymore. <laughs> Why is Kitsu not in your decks? <laughs> Twitch is a bit of a degenerate platform by itself. Oh my Horrible god! decisions are driving many streamers away <laughs> from the, the platform fuck? right now. Like stupid bans that are never explained, such as this guy's username, which was Doanel, because Twitch thought his name was Do Anal or oh Gideon, who went into Pokemon's chat and got people to spam L plus ratio. Kind of a yeah, that was not the move. <laughs> that was not the move. move. But guess what? Permanent ban. How about this girl who literally got <laughs> on stream? Seven day ban. I remember. <laughs> I actually remember. You can mess up, say a naughty word, and be blacklisted forever. But if you literally do this, slap on the wrist. They also enable yep. people like this one. I, I just, I, 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 I'm sorry, but I have so much hate for this person. <laughs> I have so much, just, this is a Twitch, I believe, ambassador. Woman to have power on their platform who, in case you're wondering, believes she is a deer and <clears throat> can have a deergasm while getting scritches on her head. Yeah. Reality is often disappointing. Reality often is disappointing, chat. The bootleg Noko Tan, literally, man. Chika Noko before Chika Noko. Chika Noko is base. This is disgrace. This person was put on <laughs> the safety advisory council. I have power. They can't take it away from me. And yeah. honestly, yeah, this, this audacity, man, this audacity. There, there are some people that should be afraid of me, but people who actually, honestly, this, this is, this is, this is why people hated her. Safety advisory council member. That, that's what it was. Sorry. It wasn't an ambassador. That's what it was. I misremembered that one. Thank you. Oh god, I have horrible flashbacks from that freaking ambassador. Yeah, yeah, the safety advisory thingy thing. Yes. I have power. How did this... Uh, yeah, how did... How did they put her into power? Into anything? They can't take it away from me. And honestly, there, there are some people that should be afraid of me. But people who actually should... Oh my god, this... Ugh. Is the audacity. 
the entitlement, the everything. Ugh, pain! Put off a real live gun while getting drunk on stream, get banned. Freaking snowflake. Am I right, man? In all seriousness, the inconsistent ban rules and enforcements have led to people like Dead Mouse leaving the platform permanently and terminating his partnership. But for streamers, this oh. isn't really an option. The only choice they have is to go to yeah. another pla well, platform. Yeah. And back in the day, this wasn't really an option. But now, not only is it a fail safe, but it's a pretty good alternative. Yeah, basically, if I ever do get banned on Twitch, I'm moving to YouTube. <laughs> If I ever do get banned on here, we're moving to YouTube, boys. <laughs> I, I, I'm just saying how it is. We're moving to YouTube. In YouTube. While YouTube still has a million different problems, there are many stories of people getting banned on Twitch for small things, then switching to YouTube, Move to and kick. it's totally fine. For example, <laughs> yeah. Pyrocynical had his sub button removed for, let's just say, sketchy reasons that came down to inconsistent at best, and malicious at worst. He moves to wow. YouTube and voila, everything is fine. Now YouTube may be annoying, but they aren't stupid. Most of the time. They see Kicks how bad narrow. Twitch oh has been God. fucking up recently and are keen to take advantage of it, signing big streamers to exclusive lucrative contracts. Now people like you may be preying on Twitch's downfall, but keep <laughs> in mind, where do all these people go? Remember Tumblr? Oh my God. Remember how when that imploded, Twitter and Reddit got way worse? Because do you want stuff like this on YouTube? Yes, of course you do. Boy. Boy, Facebook streaming. Oh my god, man. Nah, not the Facebook streaming, bro. Oh my god. Tumblr is still alive, actually. Yeah, but pretty shit now. Compared to what it used to be. Um, Either way, with the banning shit, uh, just a few days ago, Twitch did announce that they are going to improve the way they handle bans. We talked about that recently. So it definitely is a step forward to be better. Was definitely fucking time. Took them forever. Took them forever. But at least they're finally adding a better, like, ban thing and appeal options and all that shit. Twitch has to first choose a better stuff. Yeah. A lot of lip service till i see tangible change well yeah we are getting change we are getting change we are getting change that that's the thing the really only thing twitch needs to do is stop the power tripping stuff <gasps> yep 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 like <laughs> remember evil toasty although he wasn't a staff member he's an ambassador but yeah but that dear person the security council Something advisory, blah blah, dear person. Nah, -uh. the whole Twitch versus YouTube saga too. Yeah, a uh, VTuber saga, not YouTube. Yeah, the that whole saga, man. Hopefully, hopefully it's uh, it's over now. Hopefully it's over now. Hopefully, we are told there's change, but we need to see it in place. But intentions look in the right directions. Yes, 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 yes. Not only Evil Twister, but many others who use power because of personal opinions rather than actual violations. Yeah! Yeah! Except the bias and the preferential treatment. Yeah, 100%, 100% agreed. You're alright, you're alright. Yes, all of you are alright.